Hello and welcome to this psychology video where we'll look at how to answer question 4 in the third set of A-level sample assessment material papers for AQA. So here's question 4 and it reads psychologists conducted a case study of patient X, an individual who developed severe amnesia following a car accident. Patient X has difficulty storing new long-term memories though his short-term memory and memory for events that happened before the accident are unaffected. Evaluate the use of case studies like that of patient X in psychological research for 5 marks. Now I'm sure if I asked you to list a series of strengths and limitations you'd probably come up with the following points that they produce in-depth qualitative data, on the other hand they tend to lack generalizability, there's issues with subjectivity and researcher bias, they're often classified as unscientific or unreliable due to the lack of replicability, uh, that single case studies are often used to generate whole areas of further research and they can also be used to undermine existing theories. Now that's a whole series of points and the difficulty with evaluating case studies is how to develop these points in an elaborate and effective way that will achieve top marks on a question like this. Okay, uh, So for the purpose of this question let's select the first two points. Let's go with that idea of in-depth qualitative data as a strength and the lack of generalizability as a weakness and see how to fully develop these points using a, a familiar technique. Okay. So let's start by considering this strength, the in-depth qualitative data, and you might start with one strength of case studies is that they gather in-depth qualitative data. We then need to provide an example, and I would urge you, due to the nature of this question, to refer back to the example and the extract you're given. So you might say the case study method is likely to utilise methods such as unstructured interviews and observations to try and gain an insight into the difficulty patient X is experiencing when storing long, new long-term memories. Now what we've done there is we contextualised this particular evaluation paragraph in the context of this research method example. We then need to say why it matters. Well it matters because this rich data is seen as a strength because it provides a meaningful account of the patient's experiences and ensures that useful information is not overlooked which can often be the case when using other experimental methods. It's that bottom bun, the explanation that many students miss off on a point like this but it's crucial to explain why the case study method is useful. Okay. Let's turn it around now and look at a limitation and generalizability. So you might say, however, one issue with using case studies is that it's difficult to generalize these results to a wider population. Again, I'm going to contextualize that in the example used. So I'm going to say, for example, case studies are usually conducted on individuals with specific problems. For example, in this case, patient X had amnesia. However, it would be difficult to know the extent to which the amnesia is responsible for his memory deficits or other factors. Okay, And again, this, makes it, uh, this matters because it makes it exceptionally difficult and some psychologists were saying possible to generalise the results of patient X to a healthy population. See how we've managed to contextualise those points and make them all relevant in the context of this question. Uh, the answer there is about 150 words which for a 5-6 mark evaluation question is about right and would be enough to pick us up all of those marks. So there you have it, hope you found this video useful. For more support take a look at the different options on screen now. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.